welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in this video, I am going to share with you about Amgels and about the problem solving because uh, most kids know um, uh, the kinds and classification of the angles but if you will give them some problem solving they are having um, difficulty or some of them are confused on how to compute for it so without further ado let's have first the um, overview of some angles so we have here when we see complementary angles these are two angles that measures 90 degrees and when we say supplementary angles these are uh, these are two angles that measures 180 degrees so kids remember that the complementary is 90 and the supplementary is 180 and we also have the so-called so when we say two uh, when we say congruent angles they are two angles with the same measures so let's go to problem solving so we're going to solve for the unknown values we have here number one find the complement of one hand of 18 rather and um, number two we have to find the supplement of 106 degrees and for number three, we have their angle M and angle N are congruent angles. It means they are um, they are same. Uh, then if mesh, if angle M measures is equals to five x minus seven degree, and the measures of angle N is seventy eight degrees, you're going to find uh, x. And for number four, um. We have their um, angle A and angle B are complementary angles. And then if the measures of angle A is 55 degree and uh, measure of angle B is uh, 3x plus 8 degree, you're going to find the x. And then we also have there the, um, the line BD bisects uh, angle ABC, you have to find X if um, the measure of angle ABD is equals to 5X plus 2 um, degree and the measures of uh, ABC is 94 degree. Ayan. So, with that, medyo mahirap. Sa itsura pa lang, mahirap na. Okay? Ang mat talaga masyadong sadista sa sarili, no? <laughs> Lagi niyo fina-find si X. I e, X na nga dapat hindi na fina-find. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay. So to make it lighten lang po. Hmm. Ano kasi medyo hmm a big big question mark. Dami-dami. Okay. So let's solve them. So so the uh, let's find the complement of 18 degree. We have there the complement when you say complement angle it's 90 degree. And the given there is 18 degree, so we are we're going to have the uh, a, um, x plus 18 equals to 90, and then x is equals to 90 degree minus 18 degree, and then we have there so 90 minus 18 is equals to 72, so it's x is equals to 72 degree, so the complement of 18 degree is 72 degree, there. Next number is find the supplement of 106 degree. So remember the supplementary is um, measures 180 degree. And we're going to have their x plus 106 is equals to uh, 180 degrees. And then um, x is equals to 180 degree minus 106 degree. And so when you minus 180 minus 106 is equals to 74. So x is equals to 74. So thus the uh, supplement of 106 is seven, uh, 106, 106 degree rather is 74 degree. Okay, yan. 
So, in my mind, is you're just going to uh, subtract the 106 to one, uh, from 180 to get the supplemental uh, or supplementary value of that 106. Okay, for this one, we have there the angle M and the angle N are congruent angles, so it means they are the same. So, what are we going to do is first we're going to have this 5x minus 7 is equals to 78. And then 5x equals to 78, so plus 7. Yeah. Why is it plus 7? Because um, at the first equation, it's uh, 5x minus 7. So therefore, when we, um, when we uh, uh, interchange their position, it will become positive. And then 5x uh, is equals to 85. So we have there 5x is equals to uh, 85 and then x is equals to 85 divided by 5. Why is it uh, divide 5? Because the 5 is multiplied by x at the first equation. So in here we're going to uh, use it division. So uh, 85 divided by 5 is equals to 17. So x is equals to 17. Next, we have there the angle A and angle B are complementary. If um, uh, measures of angle A is 55 degree and uh, um, B is equals to 3x plus uh, 8 degree, find the x. So, let's have... Okay, so we're going to use here 3x plus 8 degree is equals to 90 Okay, because complementary is 90 degree, okay? So, it's equal to the 90 degree minus the 55 from the angle A, okay? So, um, if you will ask, where did we get the 55? The 55 is the uh, measurement of the angle uh, A. So, we're going to write there. Uh, 3x plus 8 uh, degree minus 90 as the so, uh, as the complementary angle measurement minus the 55 from the measure of the uh, angle A there. Then, um, so when we um, subtract 90 minus 55 is equals to 35. So we have there 3x minus uh, 3x plus um, 8 degree is equals to 35 and now um, we're going to do this one so 3x equals to 35 minus 8 why it's minus 8 because a while ago it's plus 8 from the 3x okay then so we have the 3x is equals to 27 because 35 minus 8 is equals to uh, 27 and then since it's it's uh, 3x it's uh, it's multiplication now we're going to uh, divide so x is equals to 25 I do 27 rather divide divide 3 so yung 3 na nasa uh, sa katabi ng, ng x kanina yung gagamitin natin pang divide sa kanya so x is equals to 27 divide divide 3 it's equals to x is equals to 9. Ayan. So, hope you were able to follow the procedure. Ayan. So, for number 5, we have, okay, the line B bisects the um, angle ABC, and then we're going to find X if the uh, angle ABD is equals to 5x plus 2 uh, degree and the, measure, uh, and the measure of um, angle ABC is 94 degree. So we have to write there the 5x plus 2 uh, degree is equals to the um, angle ABC is equals to 94. Okay, so uh, when they say bisect, Okay, bisecting, bisecting, it's bisecting kasi. So, ibig sabihin, uh, dumaan siya sa gitna. So, kapag dumaan siya sa gitna, naghinati niya. Okay? So, when we say uh, bisect, okay, so, hinahati niya po yun sa gitna. 
So we're going to use one half. So when we have there, okay, so um, we have there the 5x plus 2 uh, degrees equals to um, 94. And then that 94 should be divided into 2 or half of the 94. So we have there 5x plus 2 is equals to 1 half 94 degree. So we have there um, 5x plus 2 is equals to 47 because uh, 94 divided by 2 is equals to 47. And then we're going to have now 5x is equal 5x is equals to 47 minus 2. And then we have there, so um, 47 minus 2 is equals to 45. So therefore, we have there the 5x is equals to 45. And this um, and then after that, we're going to divide them. So, x is equal to 45 divided by 5. So, therefore, the x is equal to 9. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. And please subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher IR. Ayan po. And I would like to give my shout out, mega mega love shout out to all the teams who keep on supporting my uh, premieres in my videos. They are the Team Support, Team Tulungan, Team Hainan, Team Corona, Team Warriors, and you uh, also Team iBug, Team uh, or Hyper. Fam, Team Tunay, Lombo University, La Familia, and the other teams who keeps on supporting me. Thank you so much for your support and thank you also to all my super chatters. God bless everyone and I pray that more revenues to come sa ating lahat. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much and bye-bye. God bless.